Hi everyone and welcome to today's yoga morning stretch. Let's start in easy pose and just take a moment here to arrive on your mat. Let's take three deep breaths together. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Then open your eyes and make your way to a tabletop position. We will start today again with cat and cow stretches, but this time come to your tabletop and extend your left leg out to the side. So your left heel should be in one line with your hip. Keep your hands down on the mat and we will do cat and cow stretches as we did in the previous days that we inhale and lift the chest up. Drop the belly and exhale to round the spine. And you should feel a nice little stretch in your groin and in your hips. Then come back to center and we do the same on the other side. So extend your right leg out to the side. And with your inhale, drop the belly, reach your chest up. Exhale and round. Then come back to center, bring your right knee back on the mat. And we sit down to a child's pose. Keep your knee close together, extend your legs in front of you. Take one deep breath in here and out. And with your next inhale, lift your torso up, shift forward, extend your legs and come to a cobra pose. Roll your shoulders back. And with your exhale, come back to child's pose. We will do this a couple of times. Inhale, move forward to cobra. And exhale, come back to child's pose. Last one, inhale, flow forward to Cobra. Exhale, move back to child's pose. Take one deep breath here and out. And then walk your hands closer to your knees, lift your torso up. And we do a baby camel pose. 
So for a baby camel, sit down on your heels, bring your hands behind you, come onto your fingertips, open up your chest. Imagine there is someone pulling you up from under your armpits and pulls you up to the ceiling. So reach your chest up high and you can leave your head up here or if you feel comfortable, let your head hang heavy. But it's really about pulling the chest up. So imagine there's a string coming out of your chest, pulling you up. Then come back to center. Ground both of your hands down on the mat and make your way to a downward facing dog. Only warm up here a little bit. We will not stay here for a long time. Just use this short time to warm up your hamstrings. Shift from left to right. Then look between your hands and bring your right foot to the inside of the right hand. Find a stable position here and then reach your arms up high. Bring your torso up to a high lunge and quickly bring your hands down on your hips and make sure that your right hip reaches back and your left hip reaches to the front. Your left leg is straight behind you. Your heel is reaching up. You have to squeeze your belly in here. And then when you found the stable positioning, reach your arms up high. Awesome. Let's include a little strength training here. So with our next exhale, we bend the left knee and bring it down to the mat or almost touching down to the mat and spread your arms out to a, a cactus. And with the inhale, we come back up. Four more like this. Reach up, come back to your high lunge. Then grab both of your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Take a moment here to relax. Then look between your hands and step the left foot to the front. Find stability here first. Bring your torso up and bring your hands on your hips again. Your feet should be on two different tracks. So think about two skis that you are standing on. Let your hips sink down. Extend your right leg behind you. This time the left hip reaches back and your right hip reaches to the front. Engage the core and reach up. But relax your shoulders down. And let's include our little cardio exercise here. So exhale to lower down. Inhale up. Four more. Last one. Come back to high lunge. Bring both of your hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Then lower your knees down on the mat and come to a wide legged seat. Spread your feet out to the sides. Try to stay here for a moment. And if this is really difficult for you, you can bring a bolster or a folded blanket under your sitting bones. And we will do some dynamic stretches here today. So we start by bringing the forearm down on the mat or up onto your 
right thigh and then reach your left arm up and over in the direction of your right toes. Again, open up your ribcage here and try to look up to the ceiling. And then we bend forward, roll over to the left leg, bring the left forearm onto your left thigh and then reach your right arm in the direction of your left toes. Let's do this a couple of times in a fluid movement. So inhale, move over to the right. And then over to the left. You can also bring your forearms to the inside of your legs here. Whatever feels good. One more time, come over to the right. Open up your chest. And come over to the left. Then come back to center. Lift your knees up. And lay back down on your back. Bring your knees into your chest. And gently roll from left to right, massaging your lower back. Then bring your forehead up to your knees, come into this little ball. And then exhale and extend your arms and your legs. Bring your shoulders under your body and away from your ears. And let your whole body get heavy for Shavasana. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you want. Or you can come up to a seated position. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Thanks for practicing with me today. Namaste.